Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. It's uh, June 2022, the end of the first week, and um, I'm just coming to the end of the main construction of my John Wellsford designed uh, Pathfinder cruising dinghy, which is just outside the workshop. So I thought I would do a very quick video talk about the build so far and then a quick video walk around. Um, many of you will know of my, my, my blog, Dirty Wet Dog, and thus I do a written and photographed blog once or twice a week. So there are, I don't know, 20, 30 blog posts about the build of the boat so far, but no video. Uh, I did one video right at the start when uh, I got the plans and I sat here uh, talking about the thing I was going to do. I started videoing and photographing as soon as I started the build. And I don't know what happened. Um, something went wrong with either my the camera or the software program or something. And instead of getting lots and lots of uh, video clips that I could use and make into many YouTube videos, all I got were lots and lots of hundreds and hundreds literally of um, thumbnail pictures. Luckily I had lots of proper photographs so I just reverted to doing what I've done for several years with the blog. Uh, so look, um, like what's the story here? Um, I've, I've, I've kind of failed to do video for 18 months and, and here I am you know, returning to the idea of trying to do video. Well, in spring of 2021, so last year, I ordered the plans for the Pathfinder from John Wellsford, New Zealand. I built the outside shelter, it's like a carport, big enough to build the boat in. Started the actual build of the boat in, I think it was it was May before I really got on to actually you know, cutting out parts and starting to put parts together. Uh, from that point, um, I did a post once a week at least and sometimes twice a week about the actual process of the build. Uh, I hope some of you enjoyed that but it's, it's all there so have, have a look at it if you haven't seen those posts. But I failed to get video. Uh, I had some problem with the camera or the software or whatever and I ended up with lots of um, thumbnail stills but not really usable so I just reverted to doing photography and text. And now, at the end of main construction, I find that it would just be nice to be able to talk about some aspects of the build, show you the actual you know, aspects of the build that are, that are done so far, and then carry on the video work into the fit out stage and hopefully the launch stage. So look, I regard the the build of the boat is quite a long project. I mean, it, it's only a 17 foot boat, but I'm not a boat builder. This is the first. This is the first boat I've ever built from scratch. It's taken me. I think. I think. I think I was working on it for six months last year, and I've worked on it almost full time for four months this year. That's that's ten months so far and I'm only at the end of what I regard as main construction. So that's the hull built, planked, glassed, fared, coated, mostly painted, most of the interior structure in place, but I haven't built the rig yet and I haven't done any of the fit out stage yet. So I've probably got a couple of hundred hours work uh, to do yet. Uh, I'm also coming up to the end of the point where I'm working with um, relatively inexpensive materials. So, yeah, plywood isn't cheap, glass fibre isn't cheap, epoxy certainly isn't cheap. But those things are a lot less expensive than, for example, buying a trailer for the boat or an engine for the boat or sails. So, uh, as I go into this last stage, which is the fitting out stage, there's a lot more detail and a lot more expenditure and less and less uh, of, of the big work. 
Um, for those of you not familiar with the boat, obviously we'll see the boat in a moment and I'll uh, refer you backwards again to uh, blog posts. This is a 17 foot 4 uh, cruising dinghy designed by uh, New Zealand designer John Wellsford who's designed many many other uh, cruising dinghies. He just seems to be mainly a designer of uh, cruising dinghies and small capable inshore offshore uh, sa sailing yachts. The boat I built is called Pathfinder and it's the it's kind of like, like at the largest end of what you would call a dinghy kind of sliding into being I don't know a day boat or in my case mine is going to be an expedition boat it's going to be set up for coastal and offshore and even oceanic sailing which is I think will be a, a surprise to some people but I don't find that in any way um, unusual so anyway um, let's go let's, let's go see the boat eh? 